great experience this, isn't it, for Julian Anstrom? And I think it's really great for for the amateurs to have have that because it gives them a taste of what it's like in the big competitions. How about that as well? It's an impressive shot. And and it's something that you know if they're aspiring to be professional to play you know a high level to be on the LPGA, it's important for them to get a taste for it early. That way they know exactly what they have to work on and where they need to go to improve. Third major though at the age of fifteen. <laughs> She played with Anna Norquist as well uh, in one of the warm-ups, of course, the uh, leading Swedish player. So, now, this for her first birdie at the Evian Championship. Well done. Well, and just to put it in perspective, you know, she's 15, she's played those majors already. Lydia Ko had already won an LPGA event at 15. What about you at 15, though, Karen? <laughs> After that bizarre incident in uh, Singapore and a piece of luggage hit her on the escalator. Oh. Engstrom there for a par. Well done. Three over. In a, in a battle right now with Eri Jutanagan, the uh, second. To uh, Engstrom next. And Handling herself pretty nicely, very quick body motions, body language. You know that uh, playing with this heady company that she's playing is probably a little more nervous than day-to-day -day golf for this young lady. Fast swing, quick tempo, not a short hitter. Launches it way up into the air. It's on a similar line to NG's. She actually played on the early tee when she was only 13, so she's experienced this kind of thing a few times. What have you made of uh, area then, Jerry? This is back to the fifth. And Julia Ingstrom, who got the close to the pin on this hole. This one uphill into the terrain initially and then swinging left pretty good. Actually had uh, NG Chun move her mark to a point that looks like it's dead in her line, but she has to go above that. Just gave it way too much pace. Yeah, not lost a, not lost a turn, has she? She is actually behind the sixth tee. As you can see, ranked as the seventh hardest hole on the golf course. Eight birdies today, seven bogeys and three others. Julia Engstrom looks like she'll be first to play here. Jerry? She will indeed, Tom. And your view from behind the green back of the clubhouse is a much prettier view than she has looking toward the green here. This ball nestled down in the wet rough. It's only 168 yards to the hole, 132 to the front edge. But uh, getting it all the way back there, even with just what uh, is probably no more than a 7-iron, maybe an 8-iron, is not a given. Fluffed out of there a little bit. Should have some chase on it. Very nicely done. Well, you said she's quite a powerful player, Jerry, in terms of the length that she hits it, and it uh, helped her there. Well, speaking of power. <laughs> Over to the sixth. And Julia Engstrom, the 15-year-old amateur. What does she have here, Jerry? A yeah, lengthy look, improbable chance at birdie here. Tell you what, it is nice to see the youth in the game playing with the expediency with which he plays. Waste no time. Up and over hill, it's going to throw it left early. It dies right at the end, and that's going to get there. Well, let's hope uh, the speed in which she plays the game doesn't change when she enters the pro ranks. Well, I think it depends on how many psychologists and trainers and coaches and people that get involved. I dare say it will change. Well, it, it is a bit of an issue. We understand this tie for 65th in 2014. Engstrom now. Good for. You know, there's been a lot of golf this year, and you wonder that injury break that was enforced on her. Maybe she's a little fresher coming in this week than one or two of the other players. Of course, had Olympics uh, and a lot of tournaments over this year. It was really, and again, she was expecting that to release a lot quicker down the hill.
chance to escape for par for Julia Engstrom. In the third round, when she was in the hunt, uh, and and seemingly hasn't had much of a hangover from it. No, and and you think about how how her previous injury, you know, when she injured her shoulder, how that must play on her mind. If if you feel yourself being injured again, and and what the future might bring for that. So I think she was very aware of having to look after herself for the future. Engstrom now headed right again. That's been her miss today. But there's the slope. And that'll get probably at least to the hole. Wow. As if she's played here a number of times well, before. Uh, she knew what she was doing. May well get away with a birdie. Outside the left, keep the speed up. Yeah. Tough to get the commitment with that much break, I would think, Jerry. Yeah, and uh, right now she's not all that committed on... Um, too many of them looks, and she plays quick, as we previously mentioned, but it looks to be just uh, trying to get it over with. Yes. About ready to give her the gold medal the way she'd yeah. been playing. And you're right, Jerry. Uh, area really is that impressive when she's on form that you just don't see anybody beating her. This shot a little right for Julia Engstrom. Well, pretty fortunate not to get a big bounce to the right. There is OB not far from that ball. It's not a nice place. Julia Engstrom at the ninth now no real chance to try and go at the hole here for her fourth shot has to play it well right and still had a good one and she did excuse me that was her third shot in the uh, junior Solheim cup side as well the junior See if Julia Ingstrom Richard can finish on a positive note here. Downhill, look at Birdie some 30 feet away. Where she's standing, it feels like it has to go right, but we know that's nearly impossible. That'd be breaking into the mountain. There is a little slope there that's going to make her feel like that. But as the wall nears the hole, it will be turning left. Her eyes barely even get back to the ball before she starts to putter back, and well, my read was terrible. Hers wasn't much better. <laughs> Julia Engstrom taking an eternity to read this putt by her standards, but she'll still have hit it in maybe 20 seconds from when it was her turn to play. Hmm, tough way to vanish. She doesn't really look very comfortable standing over her putts, and I know she's young, and it's something that, that she'll settle into, but that, I mean, that's just a sign of youth and, and uh, a little lack of playing maturity, I think. And I dare say, I mean, TV cameras on her as well, it's all a different feeling.